Welcome to a discussion on infinity. Infinity is a concept or idea used to describe something endless or limitless. Infinity can be mysterious and is often hard to grasp because it is not a real number. However, infinity is an important concept in mathematics and physics. So we know we can plot real numbers on the number line, but the idea for positive infinity is if you were to move right along the number line in this direction here, you would be approaching positive infinity, but you would never reach positive infinity. As soon as you thought you might be close, it's going to be further to the right. And the same thing is true if you move left along the number line in the negative direction, you would be approaching negative infinity. Again, you never reach negative infinity, but you'd be approaching it as you move to the left. We can also use infinity to describe the length of a line where a line moves in both directions indefinitely, and therefore we can say the line has infinite length because the length is endless or limitless. Infinity can also be used to describe a special type of sequence or series, where a sequence is a list of terms and an infinite sequence would be a sequence that is endless or limitless. So notice here on the far right, we have comma dot dot dot, which means this sequence is endless or limitless, meaning, meaning the terms continue forever, and therefore we can say it's an infinite sequence. And then for a series, which is a sum of a sequence, an infinite series would be the sum of an infinite sequence. Notice how on the far right we have plus dot 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 again, which means we're summing an endless or limitless number of terms, and therefore we call this an infinite series. Now let's take a look at a couple situations. Let's say you're only allowed to walk half the distance to the door, and the question is, can you ever get out of the room? So if you start here, and door is here, and you're only allowed to walk half the distance to the door each time, notice how the first time you walk, or looks like run, you would reach this point in the room, then you would reach this point in the room, then this point, then this point, and so on. So the question is, so the question is, if you can only walk half the distance to the door each time, will you ever get out of the room? And the answer is no. You can walk an infinite number of times, half the distance to the door, and because you're only allowed to walk half the distance, there's still going to be a small remaining distance each time. So we can describe this as even walking an infinite number of times, you would never be able to leave the room. And then for a second situation, one of my favorites, if you stand between two mirrors, how many reflections will there be? If you've ever done this, you'll notice there's going to be a reflection of a reflection of a reflection and so on when you look into the mirror. And because the number of reflections is limitless or endless, we can say there would be an infinite number of reflections, even though due to limitations of our eyes, we'd only see a certain number of reflections. Now let's consider division by values approaching zero. We know division by zero is undefined, but what happens when we have division by values approaching zero? We'll consider the function f of x equals one divided by x, and we'll see what happens to the function values when we divide by values getting smaller and smaller approaching zero. And we'll approach zero from the positive side and the negative side. So notice how looking at this first table, the x values here are approaching zero from the positive side of zero. And then the second column gives us the function values where the function values equal to one divided by x. So one divided by 0 0.5 is two. One divided by 0 0.1 is 10. One divided by 0 0.01 is 100 and so on. Notice how as x gets closer and closer to zero from the positive side, the function values get larger and larger, and they're increasing without bound, which means the function values are approaching positive infinity. The function values are limitless or endless, and therefore they're approaching positive infinity. Now if we approach zero from the negative side, something similar happens, but now notice how the function values are negative, so they're decreasing without bound, or they're decreasing endlessly, and therefore we can say that the function values are approaching negative infinity. Let's also take a look at this graphically. Here we have the graph of f of x equals one divided by x. 
And notice as x approaches zero from the left side or positive side, we'd be moving in this direction along the function. And notice how the function values are increasing without bound, and therefore f of x is approaching positive infinity. And as x approaches zero from the left or from the negative side, we'd be moving along the function in this direction. And notice how the function values are now decreasing without bound. And therefore, we would say that the function values are approaching negative infinity. Now let's talk about some history. George Cantor formalized many ideas related to infinity and infinite sets during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. In the theory he developed, there are infinite sets of different sizes called cardinalities. For example, the set of integers is countably infinite, while the infinite set of real numbers is uncountable. So as we can see, after grasping the idea of infinity, there are additional topics involving infinity to be considered. Thank you for watching.